Six that touchdowns was, was. over the last two games. Dan Orlovsky is here. Stephen A. Smith is here. And Damian Woody is here as well. October begins tomorrow, so it's Halloween vibes, y'all. And D. Wood scared of nobody. I'm glad we're – what's wrong, Stephen A.? Are you looking at this? Yeah, you're – Oh what are you God. doing? What are you doing? What? You don't show up to the like that. Uh, this ain't no damn Hollanders game. What is what is that? Short off season. I mean, you're 100% right. Uh, we're going to talk about Lakers October 19th, this time with Clay Thompson. And obviously, Russell will be on the court. Can't wait. Lakers second best. That's who this dude is. He does that hockey. He does that hockey. Does that hockey. <laughs> but what the hell? Dan Olavsky, are you seeing this? Are this is embarrassing. Stephen A. Stephen A. Go ahead, Dan. Go ahead. I'll let you speak. Go ahead, Dan. You went to Boston College. That's an that's a, a institution of respect. You're on national TV, and you show up wearing a sweater from TJ Maxx, man. Have yeah. some more respect for the whoa, people whoa, you're whoa, around. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, Get on him, Dan. Okay. Get on him. Whoa, whoa, that's whoa. right. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. TJ, okay, hold on. Respect Marshalls or TJ okay, Maxx. Hold on. Okay, Great listen. Stores. listen let, me, let me say, let me say this real respect. quick before we jump into it. Okay? No disrespect to TJ, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but listen. You better check. You better check my credentials, okay? And what I what I did in the league. What I put on is always going pristine, okay? I don't. This, I don't this is pristine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pristine. Hold on. No, no, you just showed your last week with a double breast. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got him. I got him. I got him right now. Last week you showed up with a fly double breasted suit. It was so fly. I went and got a double breasted suit. Okay. And then you come and then you follow that up and you have an opportunity to let the American public know the wardrobe is tight. This is me right here. I'm a champion. I look like a champion. Hell, I. Mm-hmm. Run for office, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. This is how you were looking, and now just a week later, oh, you no. run up, you roll up looking like this all on right. national let me, television. Let me get control it, of the show go ahead, again, go ahead, please. Marley. Go ahead. Control oh. the show. First of all, as the fashionista on the show, it is fine to wear. He's wearing a monochromatic navy fall sweater. He's got dark denim on, which is a little dressier, and a matching navy shoe. It's a fall casual look. It is fine, Damien. Ignore him. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, don't let me get started with your wardrobe today. I, I, don't let me get started. I'm very business okay. professional. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I Go like ahead. this. Are Go you ahead. kidding? A little great. casual. Right. little casual, but that's all right. What? That's all right. That's all right. Oh, my God. I'll deal with that later. I'll deal with it later. Leather blazer. I'll deal with it later. Goodbye. Dan, I'm starting with you because I've lost control of everybody that's in New York City, so I need to go to Bristol. Uh, Who is the scariest quarterback in the league, in all honesty? Is it Patrick Mahomes or is it Aaron Rodgers right now? (sighs) Yeah, Pat McAfee's going to love this answer. Uh, I still say it's Patrick Mahomes because Patrick Mahomes is still the best player in the NFL. And I know people are pointing out to... And me as well, rightfully so, the past two weeks and some of the decisions. The interception against Baltimore and the interception last week, very late in the game against the Chargers. That being said, I have seen Patrick Mahomes do stuff that I just cannot explain. And while Aaron Rodgers continues to make throws that defy physics, Patrick Mahomes does as well. And I'm watching Patrick Mahomes, and this is the first time for me, fellas, that there's been a little chatter of doubt about around Patrick Mahomes. There's been a little criticism around Patrick Mahomes. There's a little, there's a little bit of like, what's going on with him? Maybe he's not as great as people think. And I'm excited to watch a player that we all anointed, rightfully so, as the best kind of in the game right now. I'm excited to watch him come out with a little fire. I love me behind Woody right there. A little fire, a little doubt behind him, Big Wood. With this, I still say it's Patrick Mahomes. He's blocking the whole damn screen, but go ahead. I, pretty much I am. Pretty much I am. Am I going? Am I yes, going? Go ahead. Look, I, first of all, Dan, we know you're the guy when it comes to quarterbacks and, and, and evaluating these quarterbacks. But for you to sit here right now and go with Patrick Mahomes. And I know Patrick Mahomes is great. I know all of that. We 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 seen all the accu- we know all the accolades of Patrick Mahomes. But you're sitting here and trying to tell me right now in this moment that Patrick Mahomes, like you would take Patrick Mahomes over the great Aaron Rodgers and the way Aaron Rodgers is playing right now. You see the turnovers that Patrick Mahomes is throwing. Yes, he's doing all the no look and all that type of stuff. But listen, Aaron. but listen, at the end of the day, Dan, tell me, tell me this, Dan. At the end of the day, okay, what's the quarterback's primary job? Number one job is to take care of the football. Okay? That's what he's not doing. 
He okay. got one more need, turnover need, than Aaron. Listen, I don't need all the flash and the no look and all that stuff. I need a guy that's going to go out there and execute and take care of the Bruh. football. And right there, right, right there, who's doing a better job, Dan? Who's doing a better job of Aaron, actually playing one, the quarterback position? Aaron by one throw. Aaron's got two two interceptions. Patrick's got three. You're talking about you're talking like Patrick is is turned into you know turnover Tommy or something like this, where it's just throwing the ball to the other team. He's got three interceptions, and two of them have come in crucial situations the last two weeks. Listen, I understand that we're arguing greatness and greatness, but still, if I'm gonna like the scarier guy, I'll still stake Mahomes. And what I'll ask you, I'll, I'll respond to you with this. Then, while Aaron has made some. Jaw dropping those the past two weeks. Scarier in the moment. Who would you be more scared of moving, like in creating? This is that was a big part of Aaron's game in the past. Hold he on. hasn't done so as much recently. Mm -hmm. I'd still be scared, more scared of Patrick and his and his scramble ability to go create than well, Aaron we've seen recently. Well, you know, Give me Dan Olavsky. You know, Dan Olavsky. We have to take your fears with a grain of salt because scared of Dak Prescott and the way he's looking. Scared of Matt Nagy and his play calling. And now you're scared. <laughs> Of Patrick Mahomes <laughs> and because of what he brings to the table. I mean, I mean, we have to take your You're fears. You're taking shots we have to take today, your fears. Stephen, okay, eh? okay, so you got a lot of fears, Dan. <laughs> you got a lot of fears, okay? That's number one. Number two, here's the deal. Not only is he a bad man, let's take this into consideration. We looked at Patrick Mahomes. It wasn't just because of Kelsey. It was because of, obviously, Tyreek Hill. We look at that because you're a quarterback. You got to have somebody to throw the football to, right? Well, guess what has happened? Have you seen Aaron Rodgers connecting with Devontae Adams? Had you, did you watch as everybody and their mother knew that he was going to Devontae Adams and there was nothing that you could do about it? And this is the thing that we peel away from this. Nothing to take away from the greatness of Patrick Mahomes because is it, it is legit. He is a champion. He's the reigning two-time AFC champion. He's a big-time player. We all know that. But here's the flip side. I think that what we've seen over the last two weeks, Aaron Rodgers throwing six touchdowns, zero interceptions, after that atrocious performance on open the night. Patrick Mahomes throwing about three interceptions yeah. over the last two weeks, looking like a shell of himself compared to what we know him to be. Isn't it really about this and really this alone? As great as Patrick Mahomes was, we had him on that pedestal all by himself. And now we must accept reality that we might have been too fast with that that Aaron Rodgers should have never been taken off that pedestal. That when we talk about Mahomes, we need to talk about Rodgers too. Because like you said, we're talking about greatness versus greatness. But in the end, maybe that's the reason they're doing those damn, te they were doing those damn television commercials together because we know how legit both of them are. It's not to take anything away from Mahomes. It's to elevate Aaron Rodgers back to his deserved and appropriate stature. That's what this is about. Yeah, I would say that Aaron's the pat like Aaron has kind of talked about this himself. There's a reason why going into last season, Aaron talked about going back and watching film from 2010 and really realizing some of the things that he was doing then to allow him to play at an incredibly high level. So he saw something in himself that he said, I want to address this. And yes, the last 20 plus games, he's played at a ridiculously level, ridiculous level. I, we're arguing again, great and great. So I'm, I'm, I'm scared of both of them. Honestly, I'm scared of both of them if I'm the defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you so like for me, would you feel like it's one or the other? I'll you tell you this. What you gonna fear I'm, next? I'm not, on train? I'm not scared of coming on Thursday and busting your head. What? I'm not scared of coming on Thursday and busting your head. Wait, I'll say this what? though. What? what? Take, to watch your mouth? Uh, I'm not uh, scared of Thursday yeah, and coming busting I'm, your head. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say this too, Molly. Yeah. Right now, I'm giving Stephen A. permission to give Aaron Rodgers some praise. Okay. I'm giving him permission. Because any other time, he know. Mm -hmm. He know I will check him if Aaron Rodgers steps out. You ain't in a position to check nobody. you. You ain't in a well, position to check anybody. See, I see me. You need to do see, I don't have a, into a clothing well, store see, and get a new outfit. Let me tell you something. That's what you need to do. See, you can't do anything because you got the suit jacket on all that. See, I don't have the suit jacket on. Yo, let me ask you this. I'm comfortable. Let me ask you this. If you had a takeaway, are we rapping? We commercialing it. Man.